Welcome back to Taxidermy for the Sportsman, and welcome to Cozumel, Mexico. We're in Cozumel, Mexico in this episode to study underwater habitat, to look at the fish in their natural habitat, how they interact, and learn how to recreate nature back in the taxidermy workshop. And we're gonna go scuba diving and take a look at how those fish interact. We're also gonna take a look at fish movement, fin propulsion, how the fins move the fish through the water. And I couldn't think of a better scene to do this in than Cozumel, Mexico. You know, Cozumel, Mexico has a great reef for diving and there are just millions of fish. So we're gonna be able to get up close and personal with a lot of beautiful wildlife. And we're gonna take a look at how that the animal interacts with its natural habitat. And then we're gonna go back into the taxidermy studio and I'm gonna share with you how to create an artificial splash scene for a fish. How to create artificial splashes and incorporate a fish mount into it and get that natural look. You know, when you combine habitat with taxidermy, that's truly where you capture the essence of wildlife and the beauty of nature. So let's go, let's get out on the boat and enjoy our dive and learn a lot about fish in their natural habitat. Join me, will you? So I'm suited up and we're getting ready to go out on our first dive and study some beautiful aquatic life. This morning it was raining a little bit and it's a little overcast now, but we expect it to clear up and be a beautiful day. These dives should be spectacular and we should learn a lot about the aquatic life in its natural habitat. And that's a very important element in taxidermy to understand how the animal relates to its natural habitat. So let's go have some fun and learn. Wow, that was an incredible dive. We got to swim with barracuda, we got to swim with turtles. We saw a lot of wildlife and we saw it interacting in its natural habitat. Let's go back to the taxidermy studio and incorporate what we've learned and take a look at how to create an artificial splash scene. It's truly spectacular, it's beautiful, and it captures nature. Let's go back. That was an absolutely fantastic experience, getting down with a fish, learning how they incorporate and work in their natural habitat. Now we're going to take that and we're going to bring it together in the taxidermy studio and create a beautiful artificial splash scene. Now here's the largemouth bass that we're going to create that artificial splash scene for. This is a wall hanging splash scene and you can see that we actually recreate the individual splashes as well as you can see we have a lure and some line coming off wrapped around some driftwood. This